Hey everyone! Welcome to today's exciting challenge for you to discover engineering. I'm so excited for this activity. We're about to build our very own action contraptions, also known as Rube Goldberg machines. Rube Goldberg was an engineer and cartoonist who got famous for his crazy inventions. His machines were designed to perform simple tasks, but they were made up of wacky chain reactions. A chain reaction starts when you transfer energy from one object to another, and it continues on with each reaction causing the next reaction, and so on and so on, until you reach your end result. Building chain reactions is a great way to explore the fundamentals of force, motion, and energy. So for this activity, our goal or success criteria is to build a Rube Goldberg machine that successfully performs a simple task. In our case, its task will be to ring a bell. Your machine must span a total distance of at least six feet, and it must contain at least four chain reactions. What materials you use is totally up to you. Look around and think about what basic, everyday items might be able to help set up or cause a chain reaction. Leave a comment down below with what materials you decide to use. While you're there, hit that like button and subscribe for more engineering challenges. Now, let's get to brainstorming. All right, so we have endless possibilities here for our Rube Goldberg machine. I'm thinking we can use these marbles mm -hmm. and they can roll down something, like a ramp or something. We can use these, if we cut them in half, they'll become ramps. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's get to building! Before we start, how about let's plan out what we're thinking. Okay. How about we test just this first? Remember to use the engineering design process while building your contraption. Chain reactions are tricky and they won't always work perfectly on your first try. So use your imagination, creativity, and engineering skills to experiment, test new ideas, and improve your design. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Another thing we could roll down ramps could be this toy car. I think we could. We could roll it down this toy car track. Or I'm seeing something really interesting over here. I mean, the this, fan. Yeah, yeah, that needs that a power with. outlet power out there. Okay, so we need something that would turn on the fan. Mm -hmm. How do you think we would do that? Um, I think this is a nice start. Okay, so since we need the fan to blow something down, I think it should be elevated. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is going to turn on. Okay, I think we're good. So it starts here, then the car is gonna hit the button to turn it on. Okay, okay, test that out. Oh, <gasps> yes! Okay. Okay. okay, I can grab a ramp. Yeah, I think this could be a little further away. And, oh, okay. Okay. That worked. We could also go with the classic chain reaction of dominoes and dominoes. line them up and knock them down. Yeah. We you might have to go on this side. Yeah. And then I'll go backwards here. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to try it out? Let's do it. The moment of truth. And there you have it. We use the engineering design process to create our very own Rube Goldberg machine. I think Rube would be proud. I agree. So let's recap. We knew we needed to have at least four chain reactions, mm -hmm. and each chain reaction causes the transfer of energy from one to the next. And so we started off with this marble track that would hit the dominoes. And then we started on a race track that would go down to turn on the fan. And then the fan would blow the ping pong ball and ring the bell. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. We can't wait to see what contraptions you come up with. Make sure you share your creations with us on Facebook or Instagram at discoveryeorg. Also known as Rube Goldberg, Goldberg machines. Rube. Okay, well, we need at least four chain reactions for mm -hmm. our action to... Mm. With all the force of a great typhoon, with all the strength of a raging fire, let's get to building! <laughs>